2013 Nano Journal. That is uh, National Journal Month. <laughs> it is um, a spinoff of NaNoWriMo, which is National Novel Writing Month, where in November, writers around the world um, pledge to write 50,000 words in November. Nano Germo is the art journal version of that, the visual journal version of that, and I've decided to actually try both this year. Um, I am an author and I'm also an art journalist. Um, so this year I am going to vlog my way through the 30 days of the art journal um, challenge. And today is day one. The prompt for today is let it be and prompts can be found on Don D. Sokol, S-O-K-O-L dot squarespace dot com. That's who um, hosts us every year and she um, posts prompts each and every day to help you do your art journal for that day. So without further ado, here I go for day one. I am a Deco art helping artist, um, so I use a lot of their products in most of what I do. Today I am using their acrylic gesso, which is thicker than the gesso that I normally use. And I, I want to use this gesso today because it is thicker. Yes, I was so thick it's almost like a paste. And I love it because it gives you time to work it and to work things into it. Like I want to put some sprays in this while it's wet. To see what effect I get from that. So I'm just spreading this haphazardly right now because like I said I want to add sprays to it. And I want to drag the sprays through for the lovely effect that I'll get by doing so. Isn't that pretty? Oh, you can't really see it. We change my lighting. Remember when I'm recording that I need to dim the lighting in the studio so that you guys don't have a glare on page. But that's what I'm doing. And all I did was take some uh, color wash, spray it on, and drag it through the gesso. And I want texture, so I'm purposely not trying to make this nice and flat. I want to have some texture through it. And I'm going to add some more gesso because I want to add more colors.
I really like the way this is coming out. Very happy with this. And again, I want the texture, so I don't care that I have. Ridges and lumps. Okay, purple doesn't want to spray today. Guess that wasn't meant to be. Do you have some cranberries? It's a very nice color. And we can mix that in. To the madness. I'm satisfied with that. Yes, it is. Of course, as I think about what I'm going to do to this page, you know. I want some texture, but I don't want it to be too, too lumpy, so to speak, right now. So I'm going to smooth down some of the texture to make it smoother without taking away all of the texture. for the noise and okay.
it's such a long and arduous process. So we'll hopefully be able to remove the volume on that section so you don't have to listen to it and you can always fast forward through it. Uh, I want to make sure that the gesso is all the way dry. And there are some spots that it's not quite dry. Just trying to let the page cool down so I know where to apply more heat. Sorry. a little bit brighter here. It was just a little bit too dark. Okay, this is pretty much dry. Maybe I'll hit this one little piece here. Pretty happy with the rest of them. <clears throat> after texture I think I'm going to use stencil for my sentiment with some modeling paste <clears throat>
Okay, I have the Dago Art modeling paste. <clears throat> and I love this stuff. It's very versatile. Can do lots of nice things with it. And I have my alphabet stencils and a butterfly stencil that I think I'm gonna use. What I may have to do is I may have to use the modeling paste, get one letter down, then dry it, which is what I'm going to have to do because I can't lay the stencil over top of the wet modeling paste, so I have to dry it in between each letter. I've made a little mess here, not paying attention. But it's okay. I can clean it up before it dries. I'm still not gonna try try not try my best not to mash down hard on the letter that I've already done. Just to give it time to make sure it dries well. Wow. 